Hi, this is Dave Baker with Viavi Solutions. The objective of this video is to demonstrate the new SIPRI check test on the T-Bird 5800 V2. This feature was added in software version 6.3. To demonstrate this feature, I have inserted a 2.4 gig SIPRI capable SFP into my T-Bird and have connected a jumper cable from the transmit port to the receive port of the SFP. SIPRI check is started from the Select Test Menu by tapping SIPRI and then selecting the rate at which you wish to run the test, for example, 2457.6 meg. In prior software versions, the SIPRI test selections were Layer 1 BERT and Layer 2 BERT. Layer 1 BERT measures bit error rate and delay on a fiber with a hard loop at the far end. Layer 2 BERT can test to a hard loop but can also test SIPRI links that are connected to a remote radio unit. In addition to bit error rate and delay, the Layer 2 BERT test will verify other key performance indicators, including the optical signal level, the frequency, and the startup state. The new SIPRI check selection performs a Layer 2 BERT test and it automates the process of verifying these KPIs. I'm going to run it on port 1 of my dual port T-Bird in which I have a SIPRI capable SFP installed. The workflow for the SIPRI check is very similar to the workflow for RFC 2544. If you've run an RFC 2544 test on the T-Bird, the workflow will be very familiar. We're going to configure the test, run the test, view the results and generate a PDF report. The first screen of the workflow allows us to either edit the most recently used configuration, load a stored configuration, or start a new configuration from default settings. Let's start a new configuration. The next screen shows all of the test settings. We can specify the test duration between 10 seconds and 24 hours. We can specify the device at the far end of the link. If it's an ALU or Ericsson remote radio unit, select ALU or Ericsson. Otherwise, select other. We can also specify pass-fail criteria for the receive level and round trip delay. Let's leave the receive level at 0 dB and set round trip delay to 150 microseconds, which might be typical for a CRAM. In the next screen, I can save the settings in a profile if I wish to store a set of profiles for the test for reuse. I'm going to skip that and advance through the workflow to run the test. The first step of the test is an, is an SFP verification. The T-Bird checks the SFP installed in its SFP port and indicates if it's a known good SFP or if we're unable to verify it. Currently, known good SFPs are limited to those kitted with the T-Bird by Viavi. If you're using your own SFPs, they may show as unable to verify. The SFP in my T-Bird is valid as indicated by the green check mark and uh, SFP is good. It supports SIPRI rates from 614 meg to 3 gig. Now this SFP can be hot swapped if it's not valid. I'm going to swap in a couple more SFPs to demonstrate. This SFP can't be verified. It's a Finisar. It's um, port numbers indicated. And uh, the recommended rates for this are 100 meg. So it's a low speed SFP for 100 meg Ethernet and probably can't support SIPRI. Let's try another SFP. This SFP is capable of supporting SIPRI at 2.4 gig. Support SIPRI rate from 2 
6.4 gig all the way up to 6 gig. I'm going to use this for the duration of the test. The next screen of the workflow lets me run the test. The SFP check is already complete as indicated by the green check mark. The test verifies that signal level and receive frequency are good, indicated by a green check mark next to interface. It verifies that layer 2 traffic can be sent and received and that round trip delay is below the configured threshold for the next two check marks. The remainder of the workflow allows us to view results and create a report. Viewable results include the SIPRI check, interface results, layer 2 results, and round trip delay. Reports will include these results along with a customizable header where you can enter customer name, tech ID, test location, and other comments. You can also import a logo. Reports can be viewed after creation and they're stored as a PDF file by default. That concludes the SIPRI test.